All right, guys, so we're still in Prince Edward Island and we are here with Frank Philly Cove Adventures. That's Perry right there, the owner. And uh, I'm here with my lovely wife. Hi, right everyone. And uh, we got this beautiful harbor over here. We are going to be doing some clam digging. So we've actually chartered a boat. We're gonna be going off on the boat. I think we're headed to an island. Uh, we're gonna be doing some clam digging and stuff like that, some coastal foraging. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna steam whatever we catch and eat that for lunch. I will see you guys when we hit the water. Let's go. PEI Georgetown. So we're gonna be boarding the boat now and uh, it's scheduled to depart at two o'clock so I think we've got like 20 minutes left. But there's the boat that we're going to be riding right there. The one with the yellow top. You ready to do some uh, clam digging honey? Mm, yes, absolutely. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. Hello, how are you? Good. Tranquility Cove Adventures. Let's go. All right. Are you just two? Just the two yeah. of us today, yeah. Perfect. It's not going to be able to deep for water. Uh, <coughs> if we get enough clams, and we only two, we're going to hit the beach on the beach cooking. We have lots of bald eagles down there. You can go to the beach coming down there. Um, Water's over here, drinks are in the cooler, there's no charge for anything, couple little energy bars there if you need a sugar rush. Trash cans are over here. <laughs> Washroom is down below. If you're looking at the head of the toilet, there's a button on the wall, you have to hold the button in to make the flush. Any questions? Nope. All good. <laughs> It has to be four inches from this tip to this tip in order to be a legal size. A rock crab will smell or see the bait. We just put this bait in here about an hour ago. They'll smell it, they'll run up the side, fall in, eat. When they try to get out, they climb up the side, hit the collar and fall back in. The traps that I fished were about three times bigger than this. They were about this high and they were about so big around. We actually used to have a boom that came up here came across and we'd lift the trap up and we dumped them in the boat. You don't pick out crabs. You let this rope go and the whole bottom falls at the crab trap. You're allowed 90 traps. You're allowed 53,000 pounds of crabs. They get about a buck a pound for them. So you can make about $53,000. So there's not a lot of money at the crab fishing. There's a lot of overhead and expense. Lobster fishing, you'd put half a mackerel in the trap. It lasts all day. Crabs, we put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and they'll be all gone tomorrow morning. Oh, Everyone, wow. wow. Yeah. A crab, I'm trying to find a female. I don't have a female here, I don't see. No, I have another male. This here tail, we call this a tail if it looks like a lighthouse. It's a male. If, if it was a female, it looked like the spade on a playing card. Crab is the only thing I know that has a headless cowboy on it. Can you see a headless cowboy there? Yes. All the way from oh, yeah. the Calgary Stampede, folks, that fella. I don't see it. Take a good look. Legs, vest, no head. Oh, we're right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> right there. Oh, that's so funny. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. See the headless cowboy? <laughs> no. But the most hunk on the vest. Keep your thumb in tight. You got it. Don't get pinched now. This one's out deeper. Oh. This now, this is an educational lobster trap. This is a non fishing trap. Non fishing trap. The only lobster we have right now is a blue lobster. These are very rare. Wow. Yeah, it's just like a denim blue. Feel out, feel them, nice and cold. It's good to see, let's see, paint some or something. Yep. Yep. That's a nice no, blue. Oh, it is a pretty blue. This is very sharp horns, all the horns here. So this is a brand new shell. A lobster, when they grow, the suit doesn't grow with them. They're like a snake. They have to shed all this off 
and grow mm -hmm. bigger and then put a new shell on the outside. Mm -hmm. A lobster this size would shell once or twice a year. A small, little lobster would likely shell three times a year, mostly in the warm of the summer, spring, summer, or fall. A big lobster, if it was a five or eight pound lobster, they'd only shell perhaps once every three, four years, even five years once they get bigger. Mm -hmm. We're allowed 271 lobster traps. Each trap has to have, have a government tag on it, issued. And um, you fish May, June, every day you fish except Sunday. If you go to buy a lobster, buy a pound and a half to two and a half pound. Don't go and buy that five to six pound lobster so everybody in the restaurant can see this massive lobster on your plate. <laughs> it doesn't taste pound as good. Pound and a half to two and a half pound. Make sure the shell is hard. If it's yeah. a soft shell, it's going into or coming off a mold, which means there's no meat inside the shell. I need you to zip mine up here too. All right, we're pulling up to the clam digging spot now. So getting some wetsuits on here since we'll be in the water for a while. I think it's gonna be a little colder. Can you help zip mine? All right, get down, honey. Just jump in. You got it. Jump in. Yeah, just jump right in. Jump right in. Yeah. No. Yeah, there you go. I know. Hey, if you'll put this over, like I got it, just over, just over my shoulder. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Oh wow! <laughs> 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 oh. Get down, honey. There's more here. Come on.
got a good one too, honey? It's working. Oh, good job. Water, water in ears. Ah, there we go. All right, so as a group, we've got quite a lot of quite a lot of clams. So, uh, Captain says we're going to be taking our way onto shore now. Ooh, another nice one. Another good size. Good job. Just put that on. Ooh. So these are all the ones that uh, me and Vivian just got, and then uh, the rest of the group there. Got a bunch more as well. So we've got quite a lot of clams for the clam boil. Ooh, it's starting to get pretty cold in the water now. Glad, glad we had these wetsuits now. Another one. Good job, honey. Oh yeah, that's good enough to see. Oh no, I dropped it. <laughs> grab the dry bags and head over to shore and do a, do a shore lunch up there. Clam boil. Look at our hole here. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Nice, give me five. Good lunch. So they got all that, including the 24 that we got. And then there's a bunch already in the pot there. Oh yeah. Watch that stove now, you don't get too close. Orange right there. Orange, yeah. Thank you. You got it? All right. Sashimi stuff. How was it? Good. First time to yum, eat. Yum yum. Wow. That's the first time trying that uh, bar clam sashimi. It's not bad, but I gotta say, I think I prefer to cook. <laughs> Here's some more. All yours, honey. Again? 
You know what? Oh, for you, I'm gonna wait for the steamed ones. <laughs> I think I like them better cooked. <laughs> There's the scallop portion of it. Try this part here first. Oh, Did you get it? Is it yummy? Mm. Thank you. Oh, it's, uh... Pretty satisfied now? Hmm? Scallop is so good. I'm not having it. That's good, yeah. I prefer it cooked. Tastes better like this. Oh, the seals, that's pretty cool. Never seen that before. Okay, everybody, well, that is it for today. We had so much fun digging for clams today out there with uh, Captain Perry. I want to thank you so much oh, thank for you. taking us out. We yeah. had a wonderful time. One, one thing that I actually really, really liked was that it was just like a complete adventure. It wasn't just heading out to the beach and digging clams yeah. and then that was it. Really liked how you, you know, showed us the lobster trap and the crab traps and told everybody about those three main industries here in PEI. Yep. So that was a good, uh, good learning experience for us here. Yeah, we have tr private charters, we have deep sea fishing, barbecue on the boats, we have the big clam trip. Whatever, you, if you can think of it, we'll do it for you. Come Custom be, trip. Uh, Custom trips. Again, I am with uh, Captain Perry here from Tranquility Cove Adventures. If you guys are ever in the Georgetown area of PEI, actually anywhere on PEI, because <laughs> everything is pretty much like an hour drive away, right? If you guys are ever out in PEI and you guys want to head out on an adventure like this, like we just did, be sure to contact Captain Perry here from Tranquility Cove Adventures. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you in the next one. Peace. Good stuff.